Just roll. Just re rolling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we just haven't really seen any cats since then. Like, that is weird. And we used to. This is. I mean. Cat, cat City. This is Cat Central. Like, yeah. this is where the cats live. The Cat Noir. Mm hmm. As, as I say. And I just saw one. Oh, you know what's funny? Our new neighbor. Um, it's a couple, and the wife is uh, very afraid of cats. Interesting. And I asked her to explain because, yeah, I haven't really met a lot of people who are afraid of cats. No, I don't know that I've ever met someone afraid. I mean, I've met people who are allergic to cats. Right. The, most of the people I know that are allergic to cats love cats and will yeah. rub them all over their face and just deal with the consequences. Just like, I'm fine, I'm fine, as their throat yeah, closes. Yeah, as they're just like, you can't see their eyes. Um, their head turns into a watermelon. Yeah, <laughs> like a Gushers commercial. They're just fucking... Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. They're getting gushed but up. But I was like kind of questioning her on it because I've just never really met someone who's afraid of cats. And she gave me the best explanation I think could be possible for someone that's afraid of cats. She was like, they are too ancient. She was like, when I look in their huh. eyes, they know too much. Like, I don't believe that they're just pets. And I was like, that... I'll take that. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I'm an Egyptian. They've lived nine lives and they have nine more to go. And she was like, "Yes, exactly." And I was like, "Got it. Understood. Okay. I believe you." I like, mean, this is like <laughs> this kind of gives me vibes of like I looked at the sun once and I am convinced it's a god. Um, to me, this gives. I had a, an uncomfortable trip at someone's house that had a cat that looked a little too angry. And now I don't yeah. like cats. <laughs> I guess that dovetails into what I was thinking. Yeah, I mean, but a little more likely in this day and age. Well, I mean, I'm being... Oh, are you joking around? Yeah, well, I'm not joking. But I'm saying, like, if, if you were to like, I, I don't trust cats. They're uh, ancient uh, gods that have walked the earth for millennia. I'd be like, okay, so this is like an old belief. <laughs> I just, I love it. It's very, this is like... An old, there's an old culture that, uh, like, has right. revered cats. <laughs> an old culture at play here. And they probably thought just the same thing based on nothing that you are. Mm-hmm. Like, this doesn't make cats ancient. They just... They're, the way their faces and their, the way their demeanor is, you yeah. personify these qualities, much like people did in prehistoric times, or historic times. I think technically historic, like the beginning Both. of historic times. Both, probably. Well, yeah, I guess. But what we know is historic. Yes. Uh, and like, yeah, it was like our this is prehistory. The one... They had prehistory. It's crazy how we Wrap all your head had around prehistory. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> hair and I. We yeah, we got prehistory. Yikes. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I was like, this. I think this is one way I can respect someone being afraid of an animal that most people have as a pet. Like, I don't ever respect it. Like, I've never been afraid of any pet unless it's a psycho pet. I like think a it's an immortal snake. being, so I'm afraid of it. No, they. she was saying, like, she, it, they give the vibe of, like, being powerful or immortal like she wasn't saying she actually believes they're immortal fear so fear solved yeah but fe fears like that are not rational well okay this is a, this is my point like i'm afraid of spiders because they're creepy not because i mm -hmm. think they're like a deity or like have walked the earth for millennia well they yeah have. but like for me, like, I'm super afraid of just bugs in general. Like, yeah, butterflies, moths. Yeah, because they're creepy. Because they just jump it's out. It's not even you. that. It's just like. They just kind of go. Yeah, they're chaos. But, like, to me, it's like I'm legitimately, yeah, like, legs. I will run away from a butterfly. And people always wild. use this line on me. It doesn't bite. And I'm like, I. That's not. 
Yeah, I'm not worried about it biting me. Like, I understand logically, objectively, that a butterfly is not dangerous. I understand that. Mm. But... Unless we're talking about the butterfly effect, which is very dangerous. Oh, extremely dangerous. Um, Don't fuck with that effect. My thing is, if it touches me, I will peel my skin from my body. Like, Flay. Get flayed. No, I'll, like, unzip it and just oh, step okay. out like it's a... Oh, kind of like a reptilian style. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, gotcha. But, like, that's what I'm saying is I get what she's saying in that, like, I know she logically, objectively knows that cats are just cat Like, they're just dumb little pets that we have. Yeah. But I can understand, like, looking at one and just being, like, that's not right. <laughs> like, I can understand not trusting not right. them because they do seem like yeah. a thing that like at any moment could just like scratch your eyes out. Yeah. And like, I, so that's how that I feel was... with our dog, our big German shepherd type dog. At any moment, your dog could just be like, your food Every now. time I grab his little face and I'm just like right here in his face and I'm just like, and I'm playing with his lips and stuff. I'm like, you could literally just like take one bite and rip my entire face off if you want. Yeah. You could just really chimpanzee, you could chimpanzee me at any moment. Yes. Yes. He really could. You're, you're getting, you're like, he's costing you money. You're unemployed. You're looking at him. He's turning into a big roast turkey stuff with cash. A little callback. A little callback. Yeah. He's looking at uh, you, and you're just like a pile of and like, hot dogs and just, burgers. Yeah, I'm just like, a roast turkey. He doesn't yeah, he, know what cash is. He can't conceive of He's money. never seen you. You're yeah. just... <laughs> it's always... I'm like literally a Looney Tune, like a big walking drumstick. Yeah, <laughs> like, just like... <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Uh, you're like one of the concession like guys. Like, it's like, yeah. let's all go to the lobby. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, yeah, one day. Yeah. One day we'll I'm all go to the lobby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can't wait till my turn to go to the lobby. That big lobby <laughs> in the sky. <laughs> Aw. Well, the Maybe day he eats day. you alive. Okay, I'll go to the lobby in You'll the sky. You'll go to the lobby in the sky. Good. That's how I yeah. prefer it. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, works out. Shush. What's yeah, the shut anger? The fuck up. Car What's horn? the anger back there? <laughs> I don't know. Chill out. We gotta get you rid live of cars. on like the sleepiest, dumbest street. Like, why are people honking? You don't know where. I, I know live. it's not actually sleepy. It's not sleepy at all. It's not. It's I'm just saying quite... it's it's slow. I know it's busy, it's, it but it's ought slow. To be. Like you can't ought to be go slow. that fast. You better not. You can't go that fast. Like just crawl around. God, the fucking six a.m. argument the other day, Sunday morning, Father's Day, mm-hmm. thinking about my dead dad. Um. <laughs> These, like, you wake up and you immediately shed a tear and then this happens. Yeah, I I wake up. You're just up. like, Papa. And then someone's like, you dumb bitch. And you're like, oh. <laughs> I, I The first thing I hear out my window, I don't know them. 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 Someone doing that move in an argument, like, just yell, yell just, repeating. Ugh. And I'm like, first of all, they the two people, they sound the same. I'm like. I can't figure out what they're <laughs> Who's arguing mad about. Who's mad at who? <laughs> yeah, I can't figure who out. Who did the bad thing? <laughs> I got heads of tails about this whole issue. <laughs> um, awful. For like an hour. I woke up. I woke up at 6.30. I was like, I'm a, I'm a what? No. I'm awake now. I have to like just get up. Because there's just drunk people on my street. And I'm not going to... Yeah. I? I can't call anyone. I can't like dump a bucket of garbaggio. Like, right, like that, the old 70s New York move? Or the, I, like the I want to do that so New, bad. New like, York move, like your dirty washing liquid. You just Yeah, like I wish I like out. had some like rotten eggs I could just like throw out my window. <laughs> Be like, go, get out of here. Hey, we're Shut sleeping here. Shut up! Here. Yeah, hey, some of us got to work in the morning. Just start doing all the voices of the whole neighborhood. Yeah, <laughs> but from one window. <laughs> from one window. <laughs> Yeah, I got yeah. Sunday school in an hour. <laughs> Why are you all just different ages of the same weird voice? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go pay my respects. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't get no respect out here. Your change that would kind of change. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Wait a second, that person's voice it. changed. Shut they, up. They get, yeah. <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> hey, what's the matter, you? 
<laughs> I don't know him. I don't know him. I don't know him. I don't know him. Yeah, I don't, I don't know this Brooklyn guy. <laughs> yeah, it sucked. I was so mad. Could you make heads or tails, like, what they were arguing about at all? Like, gar- gar- not garbage. Just yeah. truly the most coked out. I can't believe. Out, the most coked out 6 a.m. argument you've ever heard in your life. Like, you know, they closed the bars down. They went to an after party and they were just getting home. I think they were just, no, I think they were leave. I think they were headed home. Oh, they were leaving somewhere. Oh. Okay. No, absolutely no chance they live around here. They wouldn't be disrespecting the neighborhood like that. They live around here. I don't know. They would not be disrespecting the neighborhood like that. <laughs> no chance. Yeah, maybe. No, they were like too drunk to function. Like arguing rather than like because they couldn't like they're fighting. They can't get an Uber or they, get, they can't get out of here because they have to fight first. No, you have to finish the fight before you get an Uber. Yeah, you really do. I because could tell there was you like, don't know where you don't know where the fight's gonna go. You might there have were one to get or two. Ubers. There were one or two more people with them, like occasionally trying to like calm them down or tell just them to very, shut the fuck like, up. Half ass, just like guys. Yeah. Guys. And eventually, one of them, I guess, left, lost patience, and then was really telling them to shut the fuck up, which then just, of course, makes it worse. Of course, because now you have three yelling people. Now there's three people yelling. Now there's a there's new thing to be mad about. 50% more people yelling. <laughs> How That's dare you tell me to shut up? I'm just trying to yell at 6 a.m. I mean, it's a free... Well, no, you don't live in this country. It's a free country. Yeah. Free I don't know if to- your country is free. <laughs> No, it's very expensive. I don't actually know. <laughs> I don't know either. I don't think anyone else here could tell you either. Ooh, you want to hear something dumb? I was apply or I was going to apply for a job, but uh, I decided against it because the years of experience desired was five plus. Starting salary and they fifteen an hour. Starting salary was uh sixty to eighty Canadian. That sucks. That's like 50 grand. Yeah, I looked up 80,000 Canadian dollars is like 64,000 American dollars. And I was like, yeah. I got paid more than that at my first job yeah. as a developer in 2017. With no years experience. Well, or whatever, te- or whatever actually, your school would uh, like accumulate. Technically, my first, first job, I got paid 45, but I don't really count that place because that was I don't even remember what the fuck I did there but like my first real job like the job where like I actually learned stuff and became a better employee in general improved my career in any way whatsoever was 75 American which would be like a (laughs) hundred yeah it would be over a hundred Canadian (laughs) yeah and I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, y'all? And they're based in Vancouver, like the most expensive Canadian city. Yeah. Absurd. I was like, who who do you think you're going to get? Yeah. What the fuck are you Just doing? Just people capitalizing off this garbage job market is what it is. Because they True. know someone like me with almost nine years of experience is going to be like, well, I can't find anything else. I guess I'll just take well. $65,000. I could probably make as much at Starbucks. Mm-hmm. Probably not. Well, Starbucks didn't want me. I applied. <laughs> and I almost got to the interview. They were, like, ready to set up an interview. And then I emailed them a few days later, like, the next week. And they were like, oh, we filled the position. But there's other Starbucks in the area that might be hiring. And I was That's like, go so fuck insane. yourself, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> go absolutely. Go fuck yourself absolutely fuck off i know the world sucks the world's burning yeah it's all a garbage done. place that we live in we're done hey i heard some good news though apparently the ozone's getting better oh good so maybe we won't burn to death just in before... time for us to all nuke ourselves yeah just in time or for like us to starve. all go bankrupt and run out of money and all safety nets gone slashed yeah just all enough for welfare, like all welfare 
Never mind. I don't Uh-oh. care. Uh-oh. I don't need to say any words. I don't need to talk anymore. No, I All think we all get it. All welfare programs slashed. Mm-hmm. All welfare. That's tough. Well, that's a tough one to say. All wealth. All welfare. All welfare. I did it. Yeah, it was I easy for almost you. didn't do. No. All I welfare. Didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how I missed that one. That one. <laughs> that one just came out you weird. You were so close. <laughs> all welfare. There we go. All welfare. All welfare programs slashed. Hey Butchered. Will, all welfare programs have been slashed. Hey Alexa, shut up. <laughs> No, but seriously, I'm like, I'm pretty sure what's going to happen is prices are going to keep going up. Wages are going to stay the same. Oh, no way. CEOs are going to pay more, get paid more constantly, (laughs) constantly. And then everyone's going to be like, oh, no, all these companies are going under. Why is that? And we're all going to sit there. (laughs) What happened? Because we can't literally... Like oh, we it's because no they're all money. They're not making it because, anyway. Well, I mean, like Starbucks, for example, it's like five dollars for a grande cold brew now. Mm. At Starbucks, it's fast food. It is fast food. Anyone who says it's otherwise, fast food. liar. They're if lying you think Starbucks is not fast food, you are a moron. They have an egg McMuffin. Yeah, they literally do. And you know what? It's worse than the McDonald's Egg McMuffin because it comes pre-assembled frozen in a plastic bag. Yeah. When McDonald's people would order that, I love when... an Egg when McMuffin. Pe- <laughs> when people would say a sausage Egg McMuffin at the drive-thru, I didn't correct them. No, I didn't either. I knew exactly what they were saying and you it's were not suppo- I think you were supposed sanity. to. When you of said course. it back to them, you were supposed to be like, oh, you mean, you mean the artisan... Uh, free range. I know chicken the sausage. artisan <laughs> s- sausage cheddar uh, English muffin sandwich. Is that what you meant, peasant? You know what I would always do is I tried to repeat it back because I knew we had to repeat it back the correct. Yeah. Like if someone says I want a grand ca- caramel frap. I would be like, okay, one grande caramel frappuccino. I'd say it like really fast and really nonchalant to make it like very apparent that I'm like not trying to correct them. You're at not all. trying to be a bitch, but you still yeah. kind of are. Of course, I always come off as a bitch. We know this. Always, yeah. I'm that, literally that's the new the pod. Bitchiest. Always a bitch. <laughs> Which is what I we're mean, supposed to be talking about. We're supposed to be talking about the new pod, the totally redesigned from the ground up. You've never seen anything like this. New pod that we have not designed quite that yet. That we haven't talked about at all. I'm uh, coming up with on the fly right now. I'm, uh, I'm uh, sorry, sorry. I'm just sorry. There's like a cat god trying to talk to me right now. I'm trying to like s- <laughs> focus in on I what the new pod. God. I'm just like, I feel like if I just zen out real quick, I'll just like have yeah. a new pod. A new pod idea will just be beamed right into my brain. If I think about voting for Biden, if I think about... If I think about uh, him winning the election, if I think about um, never-ending uh, funding for Israel, if I just think about these mm, really good mm-hmm. things, uh, I think yeah. America, America, the gods of America will beam us a new pot idea and we'll be good. George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, and Donald Trump will beam a new idea into yeah. your brain. Donald Trump and Abraham Lincoln shooting, we'll John, hold Wilk- hands. shooting John Wilkes Booth together. Yeah, holding the rifle to get one's holding the you know stock and one's pulling the trigger. Yeah. And uh, then they shoot John Wilkes Booth, and his brain matter hits you in the face. In the shape and of that's uh, the of idea. Uncles. It his blood and brain hits me in the face, or just like a screaming eagle. In the shape <laughs> of uh, Uncle Sam. No, the screaming eagle is the sound that the gun makes when it's yeah. shot off. It's not a boom. And then it, the it's blood a, sprays ah! across my chest, and it says, "We want, uh, we want you to to, to save America." Uncle we want Sam, you to uh, do this what podcast Uncle Sam idea, say? and it is. What did Uncle you. Sam think? We want you. Okay, yeah. We want you to podcast. Um, this. and here's the idea. This. And here it is. And here it is. This is what it is. And? and I'm thinking, thank you, God. Thank you, American Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you, you everyone. sweet, white, ripped. Yeah, thank you, American really Jesus. jacked, who has like eagle Definitely wings. Definitely not 
it's not gay to Couldn't put him have been in crucified tight jeans because that are your eagle... like really low. <laughs> yeah, there's no way you couldn't have bicep curled your way off that cross and your angel, angel eagle wings would have flown you away. Yeah. No one crucified my American Jesus Christ. Sorry, he's Mm-mm. too strong. No. He would have broken the, the spear of Longinus or whatever it's called. <laughs> what the fuck? The spear getting... that... You're getting too deep into canon. Oh, okay. Longina spear. Hey, that was my nickname in college. Short skirt, <laughs> long. Short skirt, longina. Longina. Gina. <laughs> I want a girl with a short skirt and a long penis. Um. <laughs> yeah, so that's the new pod idea. We're coming up with them on the fly. Because yeah, this is the last short, episode. Short skirt, long penis. <laughs> short skirt, long the, penis. <laughs> is the new pod. With Will and Alexa. Um, yeah. <laughs> Who's the short skirt? Who's the long penis? Who's to say? <laughs> You'll never guess. <laughs> the answer will surprise you. <laughs> then um, people are like, well, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Switch, so am I surprised that she's long skirt and he's long penis he's long skirt sh- long long skirt <laughs> <Long scort. laughs> no i'm long skirt for sure you are, are you long skirt <laughs> just like a seventh grade like mormon english teacher <laughs> yes. it's jean it's made of the heaviest jean you've it's ever just, seen it's just i've never i know jeans are made of denim that's made of jean that's Jean, dude. That ain't twill. That's Jean. <laughs> that's thicker. <laughs> that, the the shade of blue that that is that does not exist. That skirt weighs ten pounds. <laughs> we do not find that shade in nature. Okay, question. Long skirt. Is it pants <laughs> attached to the inside of a long skirt, or is it shorts on the inside of a long skirt? I hate both options. I think it's capris. I got it. An extra long skirt. I get. I like gotta say, it's like, it's like skirt. Yeah, it's like a ankle length skirt with capri denim pants underneath. What about what if it's like um, like, '90s skater boy type denim shorts where it's like, they're loose but they're not baggy. Oh, they're just kind of like tubes over and the legs. And they're below the knee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just yes. loot, just like tubes, just. But it's just below the knee. They're just wide enough, but the fabric's also just stiff enough that they their yep, shape yep, doesn't yep. change. They just kind of hang. Like there. if you if you starched those, you'd yeah. be in for a bad time, probably. You starch those, <laughs> you go to church. Hey, with your tall black socks and your Adidas and your, your MS, sambas. Yeah, your MSI T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know why the guy's running with the cleaver, but you shirt. love. Yeah. <laughs> That's what everyone's wearing. You're 333, three, three, I'm half eagle. E- evil. I'm half eagle. Just I'm like half just eagle. like my Christ figure, American style. <laughs> is that what American Eagle was all about? A Christ uh, Jesus kind of figure with Yeah, not, like, not a lot of people know this, but American Eagle is actually a Christo fascist. Um, He's like the top half is ripped Jesus, the bottom half is chicken leg eagle style, like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with the like the like Looney Tunes where it, there's like a it's all chicken leg, but there's like a cuff of feathers around the ankle. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's just like a ring of puffy feathers. Like Asland, like Asland is a, like a ripped hunk. From Narnia? Yeah, from Narnia. Like that's like that's a kind of like a. There's like that's an American. Oh, that's like, like a. Like, it, it is Jesus. It is yeah. He's it's Jesus. a Christ. He's Christ figure lion. Yeah. But it's also. Britain. Is it a British story? Yeah, C.S. Lewis was English. Okay, I didn't know that's who wrote that. Yeah. C.S. Lewis. I'd rather see less Lewis, actually. 
be honest. Apparently, C.S. Lewis and J.R.R. Tolkien were like in a lifelong feud because J.R.R. Tolkien thought his stories were like such baby shit. Okay, that's funny. Like very like, oh, the lion's cheeses. Wow. Oh, oh, Great. the little goat guy. Genius. <laughs> That's so creative. And then, like, C.S. Lewis thought that J.R.R. Tolkien was uh, long-winded, which he wasn't wrong. Which they're both wrong. Or, no, sorry, they're both right. They're both Mm -hmm. wrong in the way that the other one thinks they are wrong. Right. They're wrong for thinking the other person is wrong. Christ figure lion sucks. Also, yeah, J.R.R. Tolkien, not the best... uh, writer let's put it his prose garbage these books the aren't hobbit very good rules the hobbit's fine but that's like that's like everyone says that but the hobbit yeah. is actually well written like jj abrams a great director have you seen super eight too long on any description or song and then all of a sudden in lord of the Poor rings song. he's like Oh, I know. I'd so, love to describe a forest for an entire 31 page chapter. You're, re- you're reading Helm's Deep and you're like, wait, Aragorn's like talking to the orcs? Like, right. Aren't we going to fight them? The like, orcs, what's happening? <laughs> the orcs are like yelling at him. Like, come down and here. He's like, Let us saying, fight like, you. No, you. Yeah, he's like, bunch, no, you come up like, here. Why don't you come up here to this helm? Like, and you're I'll fight rubber, you I'm here. blue. And they're like, takes one to no one. And like, you're just a stinky just like, little guy. And he's like, well, you're just a stinky big orc. Ever yeah, think about it's that? Ridiculous. He's like, yeah, Have we know we stink. Hey, Aragorn, guess what's back on the menu? It's you, bitch. <laughs> and he's like, you it's have like, menus? Let me meet your executive chef. He's a fucking hack. Yeah, is he self taught <laughs> or did he go to culinary school <laughs> i love all these callbacks i think some of them are calling back to stuff that's not recorded that one was recorded yes i think hard to say hey, part two really hard to, to say. say also here's yeah. a question okay okay lay it on me not let's go not last week obviously the well, week yeah. before part one Okay, so two weeks ago. I got pretty drunk. <laughs> yeah, because your husband got a job. Yeah, and we went and celebrated, and then I came back and recorded and yes. also drank more beer. And I said, so, let's record. We got to get it done. We got to get this mm-hmm. schlock out there to the people, the five of them. Yeah, the clamoring and, masses. Yeah, they're hungry for more. They just can't get <laughs> enough of this. Yeah. They're starved of content. There's not enough content oh, out there. I do want to talk to you about okay, I've that distracted episode. You. What were you getting at? Oh, I was just gonna say I'm I might be unsober again. Um, oh, okay. Repeat. But, repeat offender. You? Okay. I know. Um, no. Still what I was gonna say. Still drunk. <laughs> hey, what else am I gonna do? It's Buffalo, like the pandemic New York. all over again. <laughs> you really do live in Buffalo now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what is this? Uh, Canadian blue light. <laughs> brewed Even in. Even though it's brewed in brewed Buffalo. In Western New York. Yeah, yeah you can't. I don't know they why, don't sell that why here. Why they say that? It's so weird. I don't know why they have the maple leaf. Anyway, what I was going to say was there was a story I told in that episode. Oh right. Of okay. a time that I got kicked out of a party for apparently being a bitch to the host's girlfriend. Yeah. And when I was editing that episode, I cannot for the life of me when I was actually remember that memory. Like I was yeah, telling you, you don't know I, what that you don't know what that party was. I remember telling that story. But watching it back, I was like, what? <laughs> when did I do that? I did this? I I got kicked out of a party? Well, I've gotten kicked out of a party. That can't not be true. But 
for hey. being mean to the host's girlfriend, I truly. Yeah, do you even? You don't even know who it was. Like you have no, you don't remember this I have happening. No idea. Well, so you know, like, like I you know, can't when even you're in a similar a party where the host and the girlfriend, like where I would have been in that situation. Like, right, it's like so you, weird. You can't even There's, think of a party where you would have been at, like where the host had a girlfriend. Yes, truly. Like <laughs> yeah. I, not any of my I parties. Said it, I said it was in Austin, so I'm like oh, I, thinking wouldn't... through all my years of like all these parties I went to, because I had kind of like a like a circuit, right? Like as you do sure. in your early twenties, you have like yeah. certain people that host parties pretty frequently and, and you wind up there from time to do. time yeah that makes sense if yeah, yeah if I, you know parties. i'm i'm like baffled i truly cannot remember like i i i'm so in the dark about this that i'm like did i make it up like was i thinking of maybe because i would it, in the episode, I was trying to get you to say an embarrassing thing that happened to you at a party, like if you yes. could remember it. And yes. so I okay. gave yeah, yeah. an example of my own, which was that story. And I'm wondering, like, just to move the pod forward, did I take someone else's story and make it my own? Maybe you did. I've never been kicked out of a party for calling someone a bitch or being a bitch. I, I, tr- I I have no, I have no clue. I love it's wild. that for you. And that's why we're taking a hiatus. Yeah. You gotta get, you gotta get your house yeah. in order. You gotta get this, you yeah. gotta get this shit figured out. I really do. This is embarrassing. Now this is three I, episodes in a row, or I guess last week's doesn't count. Now the third episode where you've brought up the subject of a party and then been like, I don't have anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> I love parties. That's it. I've been to parties. You wouldn't know. I don't know. Couldn't tell that's you. All. I don't know. What's you the, saw the. What, what's your definition? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's asking? <laughs> have I ever been to a party? Yeah. Well, what do you call? What do you call, count as a party? Yeah. Funeral, uh, what, are funerals parties? Are weddings parties? Actually, I am going to a reunion we talked about it we this already weekend. talked about this i know but all right definitely. uh we talked about I this weeks we've ago talked about i know yeah, but what, i'm just well, saying what is new it's the 10 what? year anniversary of my dad's dad's wake which was a party which was a party liked him <laughs> okay yeah so we instead of mourning him we all had a really good time together and got drunk there you go on berry wine which Again? I know for a fact I cannot drink right now. When I was 24? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's fine. A, it's, like, yeah. it's like super sweet. Must be sweet. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. I don't like sweet. It's super sweet and yes. like... <clears throat> this is awful. It's like drinking liqueur. It's like 20% Ew, that alcohol. That sounds so bad. And insanely sweet. And they just... Boone's Farm shit. Served me bottles worth. Muscadine wine. I was taking... I was doing grape, I was doing blackberry, I was doing blueberry, I was doing peach. Anything that comes in grape apple. flavor, you just know it's going to be Dude, It's going to be delicious, but it's I don't want to do, gonna be do way that. Too again. Sweet. Oh, it was so yeah. tasty. D- just tasty treats, but can't be doing that. Like Someone people are like people pe- people be like <laughs> people be like <laughs> people be like uh-huh. wine gives me a hangover and then you see the wine and it be like that's just sugar. That's that's it. <laughs> and I'm Your like, that's face. crazy. <laughs> what? That's just sugar. <laughs> After you you were done with your little joke, you just like looked at me and you're like, <laughs> just <laughs> there we go. <laughs> like kind of coy. Show's over, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait for my applause. Any day now. <laughs> 
Um, anyway, uh, what's the point? The po- yeah, what was the point? Why did you bring that up again? No, I mean, what's the point? The point? What point? The point. The point is... This is awful. What are you talking about? What's the point? There is no point. The show's over. Well, on break. Oh, okay. We're going on break. Is that the point? What (laughs) point are you talking about? What's the point? I was kind of saying, like, what's the point? What's... what's, What are we here for? What's going on? Okay. Different question. (laughs) What are we here for? Well, I think that's exactly what we need to answer and why we're going on hiatus. This is part two of the hiatus special. Okay. Yep. Episode 59, episode 60. This is 60. This is hey. 60. This is six, six, This is 60 episodes. <laughs> They've all been six bad. Six slits episodes. Six slit. The 60 slits episode. <laughs> and yeah, yeah I, and we have to figure out what the hell we're doing here. Why is this Why is this happening? What is going What's on? What's it all for? What's it all for? I say nothing. Garbage. Tri- trash. Uh, yeah. you, you would probably agree. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, so... so As um, always. You had, you had talked about, you know, an ep- a problem you had with the, f- the former format. Former format. Yeah. Our first of three, really. Is that... You didn't like that we would kind of ramble for too long and you wouldn't have time to get to your subject. Right, we have to solve the time. Solve for time. Solve for time. The final solve. (laughs) And what you might say is a solution is double episodes with a paywall where Mm. the episode goes long and the second hour is paywalled. See, you know, I've always had a problem with this, though, because I know I will never paywall something until someone desires to pay me. But no one will ever do that because there's nothing for sale. Well, Stands no, to classic mean, stalemate. You know, at the point where you get 500, 1,000 listeners... Then you can paywall things, and maybe and we like maybe we figure out how to solve that to problem. Maybe we solve that problem also during the break. Oh, the not having five hundred to a thousand yeah. listeners. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't think at a well, certain point. Not with it's that attitude. Not, not with that attitude. On us to solve that. It definitely is. It has to be on us. It's absolutely on us. We could promote the show more. There are so many things we could be doing. Neither of us have the energy to do that right now, which is why we're going on hiatus. Sure. But 100% it's on us. And if anyone who tells you otherwise, <laughs> if either of us tells you otherwise. Pretty sure it's on us. It's on Wait, us. not on us. Damn it. Yeah, you see, you Tricked can't even me. say it. I did. <laughs> you gotcha. tricked me. Um. Yeah. Hey. I will say build something it and about they the will come, right? That I am excited for is I think because I won't be worried about anything else. I think when I need a little break from doing job stuff. Yes, the show is worse since I you will became unemployed. Make TikToks. Well, that's fine, and that's good. But I, I think that's necessary but you know being on hideous doesn't put any pressure on anyone like it doesn't put any pressure on me to make them it doesn't put any pressure on you to post them right well that was what happened with the entire format suddenly you had pressure to learn things pressure is my enemy pressure doesn't work we need you to have no pressure fucking enemy yes in fact i need to somehow trick you into recording (laughs) i can't even can't even think you can't even think the cameras are on because that little bit of pressure yep i so that's my challenge that's hey that's my pressure pressure. (laughs) yeah but you you know you're regular yes (laughs) every morning (laughs) and hey no 
new format. Hey, do we even do I do we even tease that the a third spot? Do we even bring Maybe. that up? I mean, hey, it's it's what we're thinking right now. I think. I think hiatus. that's what we're, I think that's the direction we're going in. Guest spot. Oh, is it? Oh, is it? I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna put on my oh, producer yeah. pants and say that that's probably. You know, honestly, if you would just produce, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm going to do that. That'd that's what I'm so gonna do. Good for me. I have to. It's like, now my just... show. It's my show now. Make me talent. I don't give a shit. Yeah, we're gonna. Well, clearly, it was you said I'm gonna research something every week and tell you about it, and then that was going well for a while. It was going well. Yeah. Look. <sighs> Talk to me. What's what's going through your head? What's wh- what? What do you need? What do you need from me? What do I got to do? Because I am more broken <laughs> than you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I need. I need help. I need help. Yeah. I can't run a show. Hey, it's not your fault. I'm not a showrunner. No. No, okay. We'll cut the we'll cut the crap. No, you're not. You're not. No. Look. Cut the BS. We'll Look cut right me. through it like a warm <laughs> knife. Yeah. Look at me. <laughs> you don't even have I, AC. Well, neither do I. I don't even have AC. That's not my fault. It's no one's fault. It's the fault of the people who built this house in 1875 yeah, for not having Idiots. invented. An HVAC. Central <laughs> cooling. <laughs> Just worthless. Those were they fucking good for? Gilded Age assholes. Yeah. Ugh. Um. Yeah, silent generation. Yeah, silent because there was no AC running. Yeah, and they were all dead from heat stroke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got them. Am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Am I nailed fucking it. Fucking wrong? I don't think I am. Silent generation, huh? Probably because they were all dead because they were overheated. Cause no, silent because no one spoke up about global warming. Am I wrong? No one spoke up about the fact that it was way too fucking hot and humid in this godforsaken town. <laughs> Buffalo, New York. This godforsaken <laughs> city. God has forsaked. <laughs> yeah. We have been forsaken. <laughs> By it's, American God. I have been f- forsook <laughs> by Eagle Jesus. I gotta forsake all this forsooking. It's ridiculous. Yeah, um, it's out of control. Yeah, but point being, yeah, I I'm not good at this. All I'm good at fifty percent of the time is being kind of funny. There you go. That's something. We'll build that. We'll build on that. Well, we can work yeah, with that. Yeah, let's... Hey, can you coach me into that? Yeah. We'll coach you. We'll do okay. some, like... We'll do some work, bit work. We'll, yeah. like, get it going. You know, we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. Mm-hmm. You're going to come back... It's going to come back better than ever. You know, I believe that. I, I do too. don't think... I'll say I don't think we... Like, I think we're in agreement that we are not going to come back prematurely. And by that, I mean... One pump chump style. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to come prematurely. Um, and by that, I mean that I think we are going to want to figure out what we want to do for the next 60 episodes. The next, the next 100 solidly. million episodes. <laughs> Well, you know, whatever. Um, we're going to want to figure that out solidly before we start recording anything. Oh, it's going right? to be it's going to be nailed down. Yeah, it's, it's going to be, be full it's going to be fleshed out. Fully out. fleshed out. Fully yeah. fleshed. It's going to be like in, its own like human entity. In in the flesh, fully flesh. Mm-hmm. No robot parts. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. 
just just flesh on flesh. All all man flesh. All sixty episodes. It's one hundred percent flesh. One hundred percent. It's just me a flesh flesh town. Just a, a real <laughs> flesh show. Squishy. Smoke, it's smoke be show. Sweaty. It's oh, gonna yeah. be. I mean, it's sweaty pink. now. Ugh. <laughs> Raw, sweaty, pink flesh. There's going to be folds. Folds and hairs and acne and mm. little and mole. hairs. It, moles. Scar tissue. Yeah. Stretch marks. It's hey. gonna be. It's going to be a sight to behold. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be a part of this. I don't think I'm going to be around <laughs> for any of it. You're like, I don't want to behold that. Actually, I don't. Huh. There's gonna be holes and folds. I don't know. Oh yeah. For sixty episodes, I don't know Crink- if I can crinkles. do that. Crinkles and wrinkles, dinkles. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Sp- and a little bit of sprinkles. Hey, if uh, if we do it right. Yeah. <laughs> little whipped cream, little sprinkles. It's an ice cream cone. Soft like serve. That fl- fleshy, soft God. ice cream cone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hate this. Lick it this up. is this is exactly nom, what it's nom, not nom. gonna be. It's not gonna be whatever the fuck this is. Really? This is my best shit. Okay, maybe it'll be all this. Maybe it'll <laughs> just be purely this. This is what I'm hoping you coach me into. Coach you into this, maybe with a little bit like like where's the joke going? Fleshy ice nope. cream cone. Nope. Just Yeah. Just, just on a tear. Okay. All right. We'll go with that. That's it. We'll roll with that. That's fine. It's I'm fleshed okay with that. out. It's whipped cream sprinkles. Yeah. The whipped cream and sprinkles are on top of big blob of flesh inside big. a warm waffle cone. Waffle, <laughs> a big waffle cone, and you can have your way with that every day for five ninety nine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's Lois the dairy starts at five ninety nine. It's the dairy. This the Dairy Queen summer special. A big fleshy cone for you and all your friends. <laughs> just fuck. You can fuck. You can just do whatever you want to this cone. Hey, this it's cone's the dog. Dog days of summer, baby. <laughs> it's the dog days, and you could just dog your way through these days it's any the kind of way you want. Dong days of summer. Dong days of summer. Five ninety nine tier. Uh, Patreon. You can just dong your way <laughs> through this fleshy cone any which way you want. You're hey, too hot, you're too Bite cold. It. Dump it on the sidewalk. Look at it. Squish it around. Maybe poke it with your toes. Anything Maybe you want. Maybe you're dropping that, but you also might let go of your balloon. Which one are you gonna choose? One of it's there's a clown in there's a clown in the sewer. Don't listen to him. Mm-mm. Make up your own mind. Mm-mm. Choose whatever you want. You've got the fleshy cone yeah, in one hand. Do your own research. On the yeah. fleshy cone and the balloon. Don't let the mass media tell you what to think about your fleshy cone in one hand and your dong-shaped balloon in the other. You can do whatever I, you want. It's a free country. Drop the cone or not. Keep the Hold balloon. on to it. Maybe hold on to the let cone go too of the tight. Balloon. Maybe the cone's screaming. Maybe the cone is screaming because you're <laughs> gripping it so tight it can't breathe. Maybe the cone just can't even, it can't even catch its breath because you just, you've got your nasty <laughs> little mitts all over it and you're just like, it won't let go. You're just not going to let When's go When's the, the last cone. time you washed your hands? Yeah. That's what the cone wants to ask. But it's just, it just, so, <laughs> it's just so, so screamed up. It's so, you're clamming it up. You're clamming, you've got your big screamed clammy mitts. Up. You got your big clammy mitts all over the screamed up cone, this fleshy cone. <laughs> we didn't tell you it was alive, but we were supposed to, I guess. <laughs> We were supposed I mean, to tell you, you should have cone, assumed it's made of flesh. It's made of flesh. Everything made of flesh is alive, unless it's a dead body. But like, we didn't obviously sell you that. Well, it's not flesh anymore. It's carcass. Now it's dead. You killed it. You killed the cone. You killed your last wow, chance Wow, it's happiness. a carcass cone. Your last cream chance. cream and sprinkles, just like you wanted, you selfish piece of shit. Fucking skin-flavored ice cream cone covered in whipped cream and sprinkles. Fucking. And now, you might as well dump it. And that, just... that's why... We're going on hiatus. That's why we're going on hiatus, because you killed it. That's exactly why. Because your unwashed hands squeezed gripped the life ripped. out of a flesh cone. Our flesh cone was ripped to death. Our fle- My flesh cone 
where this show is just a gripped to death flesh cone <laughs> that's all out of screams to give. I have zero screams. I can't even think about how to scream. I don't even think I know what a scream is anymore. Never heard one. Certainly couldn't tell you what they sound like. And thank God I've never heard one. Yeah. Because if I did... I've never witnessed a flesh I, cone death. If I could think of a scream, it would simply remind me of that time about the flesh cone that got gripped to death. And that would make me yeah. cry. Flesh and tears. And that's your fault, listener. Tears of hairs and folds. Yeah, they look like little singular testicles just <laughs> dripping down your face. One time I heard a flesh cone scream. And it was the single worst sound I've ever heard in my entire life. I'll never forget it. And I said, I'll God, never. Almighty, Eagle, Jesus, American, I wish you could rip, you could flay the memory of that flesh cone scream from my brain. From my fleshy brain. And Uncle Eagle Sam screamed down from the heavens. Lift yourself up by your bootstraps, you fucking loser. <laughs> woke mind virus that's why you can't think of the cone you idiot you're too busy voting for biden Unfaithful to think about the woke cone. child adrenochrome killer you know who didn't think of, you know who didn't forget the cone hunter so they had to put him in jail i think he gripped it too hard i think that's his crime. oh yeah he has he's, he, he's a gripper he has been gripping it yeah oh my god are you kidding me he gripped it just much too much, much too hard <laughs> much too firm his he dad never the... taught him how to grip a cone <laughs> his dad never told him how to jack off never taught him and his mom a doctor oh that's she is really... that his mom oh right no yeah we did find on, this out show some respect his stepmother a doctor? His stepmom a doctor never showed him how to grip his cone? Folks, Seems if like this a is parenting if, failure. If this is the state of the world, I don't know what to tell you. Hey. Hey, stop the world. I wanna get off. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, that was good. That got me. That's the first time you've ever got me. <laughs> no, that's no, not it's true. not. That's not. I'm just razzing you. It can't be true. I'm just razzing you like a pack of grapes. <laughs> Don't know what that means. Razzing you like a crack, a pack of like a crack, raz- like a crack, like, like a, a crack of a whole crap of raspberries, like a crop of crop of berries. I'm just razzing you up. You know what was raspy? Blue, the hey. cone. Blue raz. Blue raz. What that clone? That cone was blue. That clone? Because you. We cloned the it. guys. Good news. We cloned the cone. <laughs> it's back. Hey, stop! Stop feeling bad about what you did to the cone. We cloned. Stop it. the world, but not to get off. We got get the back cone on. back. <laughs> we get got back on. on. <laughs> we cloned the cone. We're back in it. Get on in. Hey, jump in, everyone. Everyone Cone's back. Bernie won. And the cone, and he cloned the, the cone, like a backwards hat and like sunglasses, and it's just like he's eh. looking cool. He's like, hey, I'm back. This is a new kind. Of, I'm kind of like a War Elizabeth Warren cone. Hey, cone 2.0, baby. Uh, uh, uh. Cone, cone, and take it. <laughs> We're woke and alt right at the same time, baby. New clone, new clone. We're Christian and atheist. You know, we're everything you want to be. Hey, come into the cone zone. <laughs> it's a get cyclone. The... <laughs> you can get fucked and get an abortion in this cyclone. No God here. What are we, what are we doing? <laughs> this is okay. This, this is, is the new man. show. This is no, the new show. This is, this is what it should have always been. Because this is, you know what this is? What is this? Is you and, and I me. know. This is we us don't hanging. We have a lot of time. But well, this whatever. Is Last episode, horse. we can go long. This is Horse This is Horse girls. Room. This is Horse Room. Horses. That's the new name. This is new Horses. Show. Horse Room. Horse Room? <laughs> the Corral. K 
Can we name it Whore's Room? Hor yes. H-O-R-Z-E. This was my original pitch I, two <laughs> no, years ago. I no. Yes, it was. I said call it Horses what? with a Z. And everyone said don't do that. No one will know how to spell it. But now I want it to be Horses because that that's how I've pitch. always pronounced Horses the Room. That was the pitch. The problem but is it sounds like whores. Is? It sounds like you're saying whores. I know. That's what's funny about it. <laughs> yeah. Is that what's funny no, about it? I have is a feeling I'll funny? wake up tomorrow and be like, I don't like yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to you're gonna hate this idea. You're going to wake like, up tomorrow no, and be like, like it. you're like, wow, no, Will's old idea was bad. That's a, yeah, this is a bad idea. Um, no, but this is, that, like, f five to eight straight minutes of fleshy cone Fleshy comb. Don't even, get me, don't even get me started. Is exactly why I asked you to be my co host because yeah. there's a room. There's a lightning in, in a bottle. Place. There's a bottle with lightning in it. There's a bottle where we can, if we go sit in that bottle, it's always lightning. Dude, it's spark after spark. Just after laugh. Spark. Just laugh. Just laughing. And people come into that room. And they sit with us, and they don't say a goddamn word, and it's just us. We don't even know we're there. And then they're like, man, I love when I like come and see you guys and horses. And we're like, I I don't know who you are. Who are you? <laughs> and what who did you do? Who do you think do? you are? And what did you do to my friend who I think you are? You mm -hmm. son of a bitch. Give him back. That's probably what I would say. Give him back. People either um, come down, they either come around, and they hang, and they're like cry laugh. They're just laughing. Or they are 180 out of there. Just, yeah, they like walk in, look at us, and just go right back down the just, hallway. <laughs> nope, this is the bad. This is a bad the, place. This is not what I want. And we're listening to "I Drive a Big Old Truck" on cassette tape. On a cassette tape. Who did that? And oh, who's the artist some, for "I Drive a Big Old Truck"? I, great, rec, great cassette, great record. It's. I, I don't. Even, I need to see if I can find that on vinyl for I my lame collection. Old truck song it's like a name we know it's not <sighs> the problem is is that they want me to think it's big old truck by toby keith but, but it's, it's not. not the title of i drive it is i drive a big old truck yeah Low key, big hit. Oh, <laughs> I drove a no. big truck. No. I got a truck. It'll take us everywhere. It is very big. I'll drive it, it around, and it's very big. If you have to move, you can call me. I don't have anything to do. I'll pick you up in my big truck. We can help you move your furniture. Wait. Maybe one day you'll buy a couch. I got a truck. It'll get us out where we got to go. Nah, there's no there's fucking nothing. way I'm going to find. Like, that, I think, is the single copy of that cassette tape. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Tracy Chapman, a big truck? No. <laughs> big truck. Fast car. Fast big truck. Fast Fast truck. big old truck. Big fast car. I've got a big <laughs> fast car. It can fit all of our friends. We'll go fast. <laughs> We can drive everywhere, and we'll get there really, really quick. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, you have another You're friend. Well, they can join us because it's a really big car. We got <laughs> lots of seats, but on your seatbelt because we're going to go fast. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it only took 60 episodes, and I finally did a fast car. <laughs> oh, big surely you've done that before. No, I don't think so. Big Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. <laughs> by, uh, yeah, what's a Tracy Chapman pun on going places? Uh, Placey. Tracky. Placey Fast Man. <laughs> <laughs> Big Fast Car by Placey Fast Man. <laughs> uh, yeah, that I can't. I can't beat that. Yeah, they, they get, that's it. <laughs> and that's the new show. Placey Fast Man. Placey Fast Man, <laughs> Big Fast Car. Just 
joke Whoa. after joke. <laughs> yeah. You hear that big fast car? <laughs> that yeah. was cool. Right, but give me another one. Hey, they know. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we had the auto show. That's the oh. show. Auto show. Get in the show. Auto show. <laughs> okay, so, wait. Yeah, lay it on the line. Flesh cone. Well, no, we... Yeah. Or is... Big the fast flesh car. cone has nothing to do with anything. Or does it have any everything to do with everything? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. I'm, gonna, I'm like, probably going to err on the side of it. it. has nothing to do with anything. Well, hey, let's keep let's keep the listener guessing. Let's keep the options open. <laughs> Did they hey. clone next week in seven <laughs> months? Is the cone a clone? Did they clone Is the, the car cone? that fast? <laughs> Did they really have room for that extra friend? <laughs> and how fast did they get where they were going? Did the cone sit in the car? Did the cone call shotgun? Was everyone mad at the cone for being a clone that also knew how to be taught how to call shotgun in the car? Find Is out the in cone <laughs> human sized? Does the cone have the capacity to have speech? And did we teach it English? <laughs> Is did it learning cone... new things every time it's cloned? Did the cone teach itself a new language? But that language happens to be in our minds, and we can speak to the cone, even though the cone doesn't know English. Does it know a new form of communication that bag <laughs> baggles, <laughs> boggles science and religion? Does separation of church and state have anything to do with the cone? Is the whipped cream the reason the cone can communicate with us? Did we put brain cells in the cone? And in the Are the cream. sprinkles brain cells? Are the sprinkles stem cells? Was that what gave the cone its ability to have a new form of communication? Tune in next. Tune in in October of 2024. <laughs> tune in roughly tune, October, tune November. Sometime in the next, in fall. <laughs> Get your antenna in a cone format. <laughs> Ask your TV cable provider for cone tenna. Yeah. <laughs> Ask your doctor if cone is right for you. <laughs> I don't think cone's right for anybody. I don't think right, cone's right for anyone, but I, I'm not going to say that because I'm trying to sell this damn thing. <laughs> I'm trying to get doctors to prescribe cone to everyone. I'm not going to tell anyone <laughs> that I don't. I'm not going to tell a single. Fat stacks you, off of cone. You think over Who here. is also... You think I'm going to tell someone? You think I'm going to tell Joe Schmo that the cone's not right for him? God, no. I want every mm -mm. Joe, I want every Tom, Dick, and Larry to be on the Harry Cone. The Harry Cone Show. <laughs> Harry Cone! Harry Cone! Yes. Bobby Moynihan! Give us the cone! Is it a clone? We gotta find out. <laughs> Am I the first cone or am I just another clone? I'll never tell you. Welcome to the Harry Cone Show. My first guest, <laughs> Alexa Schreffler. I hey, Alexa, just, tell us a joke. I'm picturing like the tip of a dick in a waffle cone. Oh, Jesus Christ. With lots of hair, no eyes, no mouth. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm it's not, like the, yeah. I'm it's picturing the dick something from, similar. Um, South Park on the back of the mouse that's just like. Okay, yeah. <laughs> flopping around. <laughs> I'm picturing like. A waffle cone <coughs> with like just, I'm picturing like just a, a little waffle cone, you know, like a little guy. Okay. Two tier. Not a not a cone. Oh not a cone waffle cone. Okay, I okay, here's what I'm thinking. Like a dairy queen cone. My picture is like just a, a the big deluxe chocolate dipped with sprinkles waffle cone. Oh like the okay. one your parent would not mm -hmm. buy you. Yeah. The one your parental I, I, figure I, I, said no no no. Uh Where's that? At like a, at like slab. a, at like a marble slab or like a, yeah, creamery. That's marble slab. It's marble slab creamery. Well, yes, but I'm saying those aren't those aren't nationwide. It's marble slab cleamily. Cleamily. <laughs> or a Culver's. Mar marble marble slab. I'm creamering. Um, <laughs> oh, marble slab. Marble slab sweet cream with <laughs> <I'm> raspberries. <cleamily. laughs> I'm creamily. 
creamering. <laughs> I'm creamling. <laughs> creamling. I'm creamering. Oh, I cannot think of another oh slab. I'm cl I'm cleaning. <laughs> I'm a one one slab chab. Oh. <laughs> I'm a one clean queen. <laughs> <laughs> one scoop coop. <laughs> uh, no, it's like so. It's like a deluxe waffle it's cone good. dipped in chocolate, covered in sprinkles. But then it's just like this mess of folds and skin and hair. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. In the okay, cone, okay. it's just yeah. disgusting. It looks like um, it's just awful. Like something Wretched. that gets zapped by like a like the fly machine that's just like kill me. Yeah, it's like it's like you you took all the skin off a chicken and maybe just, like a little teeny tiny arm that's just like like a ball like, like a, the top like a big wrinkly <laughs> nut big wrinkly sack <laughs> just just in the. the in the wrinkliest cone. And it kind of like, the folds kind of move. Like, there's a little bit of a face in there, but like, it can't but be like, a pleasant. But like, if you it's look at it too existence. long, it like, it goes away. And you're yeah, like, you're like did oh, I see a face? Was there an, a mouth in there? It's talking. It's I got something it. to say. <laughs> but I don't trust it, because I don't know if it's the clone or if it's the original cone. Right. So, what can you do? You can't and here's anything. a little music to play us out. <laughs> Beautiful. Perfect. You know and what? Listen to that. Hey, we'll see you guys some other time. <laughs> okay, good. That was good. Now let's take in it again. We'll see you future. guys in the future in a month or two or three. Maybe four. This is what? We're coming this is it's now the first week. It's like end of June, late early July. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hey, happy Fourth. Happy Fourth of July. God bless hey. the United States. God bless Eagle Jesus. Greatest country on earth. The only one with a half eagle, half man, Uncle Sam, that just <laughs> didn't let half eagle, half man, Uncle Sam that wants you, but also ripped himself off of the cross and flew away. Oh, flexed himself off. Really, if we're being honest. <laughs> he just had to go <gasps> and just bam. It's just <laughs> psh, psh, and, and the splinters. Nails. Hit the like Roman officers. Yeah, in those the face. Splint, those splinters just Killed right into the neck instantly. of every Roman soldier in the vicinity. Yeah. Every non-believer, and only the non-believers. Jesus actually. is sick. God bless us. Now in this quest, can I improve me? There is the obvious difference that if I am in need of improvement. The person who's going to do the improving is the one who needs to be improved. And there immediately we have a vicious circle.